India has achieved a notable third ranking in the Asia Power Index 2025, as reported by the Lowy Institute, an Australia-based think tank, the index evaluates the power dynamics of nations in Asia, highlighting their ability to influence their external environments, America and China hold the first and second positions, respectively. French aerospace company Safran has announced the establishment of a new maintenance, repair, and overhaul facility in India, which will be the only site outside France capable of servicing and overhauling the M88 engines used in Rafale fighter jets. This development is seen as a significant advancement for India's aviation sector. The Defence Secretary of India, Rajesh Kumar Singh, has announced that a remarkable 24 companies have submitted bids for the medium-altitude long-endurance UAV tender, this initiative is part of a larger plan to acquire 87 male drones for the Indian Army, Navy, and Air Force. Bilal Khan, a prominent defense analyst from Pakistan, has commented on India's reported intention to procure an additional 114 Rafale fighter jets. He believes this move will significantly enhance the operational capabilities and combat readiness of the Indian Air Force. Indian Navy is embarking on a significant transformation in maritime operations through the introduction of advanced smart ship technologies, this initiative was highlighted by Vice Admiral Sanjay J. Vatsayan during the Naval Commanders Conference, marking a shift from conceptualization to practical implementation. Indian Army has initiated a significant step towards enhancing its defense capabilities by releasing a request for information aimed at the domestic manufacturing of electronic fuses for 155 mm artillery shells. This move is part of a broader strategy to foster local defense manufacturing and reduce reliance on foreign suppliers. Paris Defense and Space Technologies Limited has entered into a significant licensing agreement for transfer of technology with DRDO. This agreement focuses on the indigenous driver night side design for the Indian Army's T 90 SOSK, Bhishma main battle tanks. India is planning to procure five additional squadrons of the S 400 Triumph Air Defense System from Russia, following its successful performance in recent military operations against Pakistan. This procurement, valued at over $5 billion, is said to be a key topic during Prime Minister Narendra Modi upcoming summit with Russian President Vladimir Putin on 5 December 2023. India is considering acquiring at least two squadrons of the Sukhoi Su-57 Russia's advanced fifth-generation fighter aircraft, this move is part of a broader strategy to enhance India's long-range strike and stealth capabilities. The proposed deal between the United States and Saudi Arabia regarding the sale of F-35 fighter jets has raised concerns about Israel's military advantage in the region, U.S. Secretary of State Marco Rubio has communicated to Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu that the F-35 sold to Saudi Arabia will be downgraded versions compared to those operated by Israel. DRDO of India has taken a significant step towards the operational deployment of high-power directed energy weapons by issuing an expression of interest. This initiative invites both private and public sector companies acquire transfer of technology for the indigenously developed 30 kW laser directed energy weapon system. India has issued a significant notum designating a no-fly zone over the Bay of Bengal, effective from December 1 to 4. This alert indicates a probable trial of a submarine-launched ballistic missile, reflecting India's commitment to enhancing its underwater nuclear deterrence capabilities amid rising regional tensions. Ministry of Defense is preparing to issue a request for proposal to Russia's state-owned arms export agency, Rosoboronexport, for the procurement of nearly 300 missiles intended for the S-400 Triumph Air Defense Systems. This initiative is part of a strategy to replenish missile inventories depleted during Operation Sindur and to enhance the Indian Air Force's stock of both short-range and long-range interceptor missiles. In a significant advancement for India's aerospace and defense sector, French aerospace company Safran has confirmed a comprehensive technology transfer agreement with DRDO for the engine of India's future fifth-generation stealth fighter aircraft. This historic announcement was made by Safran's CEO, Olivier Andries, marking a pivotal moment in international defense collaborations.